Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Monday, February 17th. Is that right? Monday? Yep, it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. I can't keep track of the days. It's 8.13 p.m. I've been busy today hanging stuff. Well, this up here is my bulletin board, and it kind of is the same size as my little doggy heaven. Well, I want this up here, but I don't really like this, so it may get changed. <laughs> well, it gets changed every season. I just haven't done it yet for seat for the spring, so I don't know. It may stay. We'll see. Um... I do that. I hang stuff up and then I change it. Well, anyway, I found part one of the messages given to Miss Sophie. I evidently have been farther behind in my email than I thought. I mean, because I went all the way to the bottom where Scott had sent me uh, our brother Scott had sent me the videos of the one I wanted to use uh, or at least uh, use the scriptures he used with my video on the two raptures. So I've been saving it. It's at the very bottom and I went all the way to the bottom and worked my way up and so now I'm at about the Number 10. I don't watch them all. I can't. I can't, y'all. And I'm not even answering some of them because they're so old and I've already talked to you about other things. So some of them that were real short just got deleted or you just got a few words. So please forgive me. I'm not trying to blow anybody off. I'm trying to get caught up. Um, but anyway, this is called Yeshua HaMashiach is the answer. And this was put out February 10th, 2020. And it's part one of three. Uh, he starts it out. My child, write these words down for me. Okay, here's his message from Yeshua HaMashiach. Many of my children are perplexed as to why they have not heard from me on whether to move or stay put. There is a great misunderstanding of my timing as coinciding with the timing of events and what is now happening around the world. Children, everything I do will be for your benefit. Though you perceive nothing is moving on your behalf. Doesn't it seem that way sometimes? Trust me on this. In heaven, all is being aligned for the time you are to go. If you have been told, you will move. Now this part I'm a little confused on. If you have been told... You will move. You will be moved. Everything in heaven for your life has to be done in the right order. There are no mistakes made here. Do not become disheartened as you wait. My daughter, you too need to remember, and I guess he's talking here to Miss Sophie, 
You need to remember all is being worked out for your good. Child, you and so many others are also asking me the same questions, waiting on answers. Have any of you been asking God questions lately? I have. <laughs> well, Lord, what is going on? What are we still doing here? How can there be this major plague and we're still here? Have you all said that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyway, let me move on. I am answering all now. I am is moving. I am has not forgotten you. You who are my chosen vessels, I am refining so that you will be like gold. Everyone is in a different stage of refinement as I transform you from the inside out. I am not speaking of full transformation, so do not misinterpret my words. All must go through the refiner's fire, for I am the potter and you are the clay. Keep in mind, I am outside of time, and in my timing, it is all moving along quickly, but in your earthly time, it appears to you that not much is going on, and that your answers will never come. This I speak to my ch chosen children, that I have spoken to before about relocation. You will have your answers soon. To all those who walk with me, stay very close to me at this time, for the enemy is on the prowl, looking to keep you from fulfilling your destiny. From the call I have on your life, wear your armor and wait on my instruction. Keep yourselves ready, for some of you will be called to move quickly. Others will remain where they are now. You see many changes are occurring in the earthly realm. To those who have yet to return, you need to open your eyes and realize this leave it to beaver, that's in quotes, horse and pony show is over. They have put out viruses. See, he's saying they have put out viruses. And there are more to come. They must have a reason to round masses of people up. And it must always come under the guise that it is for your own good. That they are here to help. Children, do you see how they are, quote, enforcing their will, unquote, upon all? Will anyone ever find those that have been taken? Their agenda has been, quote, in the works, unquote. For decades, but now application is going forth. You ask, quote, why would 
you, God, allow this. Unquote. And that's the end of it. That's all he typed out. Why would God allow this? It's got to be for the final test. That test of faith. Remember he said to me, will, you, will I find faith when I come? I pray that he does. Nobody loses their faith. So if you're confused about the order of things, go back after you listen to this one and re-listen to part two. It'll say, message from Jesus given to Miss Sophie. So it'll be after February 10th. And then I think the last one was February 14th, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over myself and over each and every one of you and all your devices and your internet connections so we can stay together until we're out of here. Everybody keep the faith. Stay strong. Don't fear. Read Psalm 91 every night. And believe it. Every single word in the Bible you can believe. It has been Holy Spirit inspired and written down for God through the hand of some man but the Holy Spirit dictated it. Okay, I hope you can understand that and believe that. And you can easily look that up. That's a verse. The Holy Spirit, all scripture is inspired by God. Look up those words. I believe it's Timothy, but I'm not 100% sure. 1st Timothy, 2nd Timothy. I can't remember. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll let you go and I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye for now.